the day that it was announced that the first case was identified in Michigan, I happened to have had surgery that day. And when I was in recovery from surgery, uh, I did what most people do when they wake up from anything, they look at their phone. And I realized that uh, there was a news article about the first case in Michigan and that that case was where I was having my surgery. So um, a little concerned, a, a slight bit fearful, but uh, with the reassurance of my doctor that I was nowhere near where that person was, uh, I was released home. And then, you know, I think all of us sort of watched the world change uh, on that day, March 11th, 2020. So I'll be honest, uh, when I first heard that there was a vaccine, I didn't have a great deal of excitement one way or the other. Um, I, I think like a lot of people, I had to sort of wrestle with whether or not I would take a vaccine when it became available. And as the information became available, as we learned more and more about how effective the vaccines were, uh, that started to spark some joy and make me feel like maybe there's hope and maybe th this is a good thing. But it was actually my mother who really just made it very plain and simple. She said, the virus is showing us what it will do. I think I'm going to take my chances on the vaccine. You know, when the numbers are exceeding hundreds of thousands of people dying from this horrible virus, uh, a vaccine is is something that can give us hope. And for those for those people that we've lost, um, it would be it would be sort of tragic not to take advantage of, of this opportunity. I feel like I'm in a position to be able to uh, help convince them to consider the vaccine if they haven't before. Some have said they're not even considering it. Some have just said they're on the fence as I was. So I, I just try to have a conversation with them. And so I guess I would just encourage others, if you are on the fence and you've changed your mind, have open dialogue with your friends and family about where they are so that to the extent that you have facts and knowledge and you've done your research, you can share it with them. Um, find the facts, don't just sit on the sidelines and, and, and question, but really pursue answers. Um, so that you can get comfortable and you can take action. And, and so we can all sort of protect our families and communities from, um, from this virus continuing to spread.